everyone welcome back to my youtube channel travel free in today's video i am going to explain you a problem related to homogeneous equations sorry non homogeneous equations in the previous video i have explained about what homogeneous equations are what non homogeneous equations are how to identify and what are the conditions and everything right if you did not watch that video i suggest you to first watch that and then come here so that it will be more clear for you Uh, so in this video, basically, read the question. Find whether the following system of equations are consistent. See, we have one, two, three, four, four equations. Okay, this is a system of equation. We have to find out whether these four equations are consistent or not. If they are consistent, we have to solve them. What do you mean by consistent? It has some solution. If it is having some solution, then it is called as consistent. Right. So how do you check whether it is a consistent or not? You have to find out the rank of the matrix A and AB. First, let us write it in the form of AX is equal to B. So any matrix, you should write it in the form of AX is equal to B. A is nothing but the coefficient matrix. X is nothing but the variable matrix. B is the constant matrix. Okay. Now let us write A first. What we will get? One, two, two. So one, two. Next three minus two minus one. For Z we don't have anything, so we can take as one minus one along with the sign. Next two minus five three. Next equation is one four six. Okay, this is A and X. X is X Y Z. Three variables we have is equal to B. We have to write what is B. Two, five, minus four, zero, constant matrix. Okay, two, five, minus four, zero. Okay, we got A X is equal to B. Once you have written A X is equal to B, next what you have to do? You have to write the augmented matrix A B. Right? So the augmented matrix A B will be equal to A and B together. You have to write that sum. One, two, two. Two, three, minus two, minus one, five. Next, two minus five, three minus four. Next, one, four, six, zero. So we got the augmented matrix A B. Now for this we have to do apply the Alkaline form, and we have to make the. Um, I mean we have to calculate the rank of A and A B. So now let us see how do we get the echelon form for this. Echelon form means what? First you have to identify the diagonal element, right? So the diagonal elements are these. These are the diagonal elements, right? So whatever elements are below the diagonal elements, all those should become zero. That is echelon form. So whatever I've underlined, all those elements should become zero. So now let us see what are the operations that we are doing in order to make it as zero. So First, basically, what we will do is let us make these three elements zero with the help of this one. So R two, how you will make R two minus three R one because three minus three you will get zero. So R two minus three R one. R two becomes R two minus three R one. Next, R three two minus two will give you zero, right? So two minus two into one, which is nothing but R three minus two R one. R three will become R three minus two R one. Next, one minus one directly you will get zero. So R four will become R four minus R one. Okay. Now let us apply the transformations. So first row will be as it is one two two two. Next, three minus three you will get zero. Minus two. Minus three into two, minus two, minus six, minus eight. You will get. Okay. Next, minus one, minus three into two, minus one, minus six, which is minus seven. Next, five, minus three into two, five minus six, which is minus one. Next, two minus two, zero, because R three minus two R one, right? Two into two minus two into one, which is two minus two, zero. Next, minus five, minus two into two. Minus five minus four, which is minus nine. Next, three minus two into two. That is nothing but three minus four. You will get minus one. 
next 5 minus 2 into 2 5 minus 4 which is plus 1 got it next r4 minus r1 direct subtraction 1 minus 1 0 4 minus 2 2 6 minus 2 4 0 minus 2 minus 2 right okay next what we will do is our next step is to make these two elements as zeros minus 9 and 2 so minus 9 and 2 can be made zeros with the help of r2 why you should not take r1 if you are taking r1 r1 here we have 1 right you do any operations the value of these things may change so since this is having 0 whatever operation you do it will be 0 only that is why we will do it with the help of r2 only okay so is there any common factor for 9 and 8 no right so 9 into 8 72 so that is only the common factor for 9 and 8 so for that what we are doing is r3 will become 8 r3 minus 9 r2 in r3 we are having 9 right that's why for r3 we should multiply 8 in r2 we are having 8 right that's why 9 multiplication like lcm only okay and what r4 will become 4 r4 plus r2 4 r4 plus r2 why 4 into r4 is nothing but 4 into 2 which is 8 8 minus 8 0 you will get okay let us apply that so first two rows will be as it is 1 2 2 2 0 minus 8 minus 7 minus 1 as it is now 8 r3 minus 9 r2 so 0 minus 0 only you will get 8 r3 minus 9 r2 see here 8 r3 8 into minus 9 minus 9 into r2 is minus 8 right 8 into minus 9 is minus 72 and uh, minus 9 into 8 is plus 72 72 72 cancel 0 you will get okay next 8 r3 minus 9 r2 8 r3 is nothing but minus 8 minus of minus plus 9 r2 9 into 7 63 63 plus 8 what you will get you will get not not wait 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 this is plus and this is minus right yeah 63 minus 8 you will get which is nothing but 55 right next 8 r3 minus 9 r2 again what is guys just a second we did a mistake somewhere uh, we guess it's here r3 minus 2 r1 right r3 is minus 4 minus 2 r1 minus 2 into 2 minus 4 minus 4 we get minus 8 yes okay sorry for that now 8 r3 8 r3 is nothing but minus 64 minus 9 r2 minus of minus will become plus so 64 i mean minus 64 plus 9 you will get you will get minus 50 guys don't just watch the video you will not understand do it along with me then only you will understand and if i get any mistakes also then only you will be able to identify them uh, see this minus 55 and all i'm i'm telling you orally but you will not understand that until and unless you do it on the paper okay next 4 r4 plus r2 0 plus 0 only you will get here 4 r4 is nothing but 2 into 4 8 minus 8 0 here again 4 into 4 16 16 minus 7 you will get 9 okay next 4 r 4 minus 2 into 4 minus 8 minus 8 minus 1 you will get minus 9 next our next target see before that what we can do is we can just simplify this by 55 9 so same same things we have right so we can do r 3 by 55 so this will become 1 and minus 1 we can do r 4 by 9 so that it will become 1 and minus 1 okay let us do that now first so so i guess you guys can see so what we will do is r 3 by 55 and r 4 by 9 okay so what you will get first two rows as it is 1 2 2 2 next 0 minus 8 minus 7 minus 1 0 0 55 by 1 is 1 Fif minus 55 by 55 sorry 55 by 55 is 1 minus 55 by 55 is minus 1 next 0 0 9 by 9 1 minus 9 by 9 minus 1 so this is our 
new matrix now what we will do we can do like so first let us identify the diagonal any doubt just identify the diagonal and check if all the elements below the diagonal are zero this only this one is not zero right so what we can do is we can subtract it from r3 like we can r4 becomes r4 minus r3 let us do okay so what you will get then all the others will be same 1 2 2 2 0 minus 8 minus 7 minus 1 0 0 1 minus 1 okay now this one will become 0 minus 0 0 0 minus 0 0 1 minus 1 0 minus 1 minus of minus 1 will become plus 1 so minus 1 plus 1 will become so now zero. again identify the diagonal this is the diagonal right and now all the elements below the diagonal are 0 so we are done with the process we can stop the process here now let us calculate the rank of A and rank of AB how you get the rank of A rank of A is nothing but simply this matrix so what is the rank of this smaller matrix is rank of A and whatever is the matrix of this complete matrix is the rank of A B ok now what is rank of A how many non-zero rows are there 1 2 3 this is a 0 row because all the 3 elements are 0 right and here we have 0 0 1 you see this element is not 0 right that's why we what we consider this one as a 0 row so 1 2 3 3 non 0 rows we have so rank of A is 3 rank of A we let us do how many non 0 rows we have while considering the complete AB this is complete 0 row 1 2 3 3 so we got rank of A is equal to rank of AB what do you mean by rank of A is equal to rank of AB? It is a consistent. Consistent or not you have to identify right whether the system of equations are consistent or not. They are consistent. Done. So once you find out they are consistent what is the next step that you have to do? Rank of A is equal to rank of AB but whether it is equal to n or it is less than n you have to find out if it is equal to n it has unique solutions if it is less than n it has infinite number of solutions right here it is luckily equal to n equal to n means what does it mean n is nothing but number of unknowns how many unknown values we have 1 2 3 and what is rank rank is also 3 so a rank of a is equal to rank of b is equal to number of unknowns so it means it has a unique solution okay it has a unique solution okay and now you have to form the equations how you will form the equations with the help of this matrix the last matrix what which you have obtained with that matrix you have to find out uh, form the equations not with the help of this matrix okay if you find equation if you form equations with this matrix you will again get these only no use in that now with this matrix let us form equations so it will become x plus 2y plus 2z is equal to 2 so this is x y z and this is constant like this you have to form the matrix okay from this what you will get x is 0 so you will get minus 8y minus 7z is equal to minus 1 okay third one x is 0 y is 0 so z only z is there z is equal to minus 1 okay in this we don't have anything so we can leave that ok now we got z is equal to minus 1 directly now let us assume this as equation 1 and equation 2 now we will substitute z is equal to minus 1 and equation 2 so what you will get minus 8y minus 7 into minus 1 is equal to minus 1 right minus 8y minus 7 into plus 1 minus 7 into minus 1 is plus 7 is equal to minus 1 if this 7 goes this side it will become minus 8y is equal to minus 1 minus 7 which is nothing but minus 8y is equal to minus 8 minus minus cancel 8 8 cancel 1 will be remaining so y is equal to 1 you will get ok so now what is our next step to find out x how do you find out x z is equal to minus 1 and y is equal to minus 1 substitute those two equations in equation those two values in equation 1 this one so x plus 2 into what is the value of y 1 what is the value of z minus 1 is equal to how much 2 so x plus 2 minus 2 is equal to 2 plus 2 minus 2 cancel so x is equal to 2 ok so what are the values you got x is equal to 2 y is equal to 1 z is equal to minus 1 this is the solution for the 
system of given linear equations okay for the give for the given system of equations these are the solutions we have only unique solution because rank of a is equal to rank of a b is equal to n okay so for system of equations what you have to do first you have to write a x is equal to b then write the augmented matrix a b then apply a colon form make all the elements below the diagonal as zero next you have to identify uh, after getting the rank you have to identify with the formula conditions you have okay this is all about this video guys thanks for watching the video till the end if you're still having any doubts apart from what i've explained in the video let me know in the comment section i'll definitely try to clear all your doubts for sure let's meet up to the next coming video with another topic till then stay tuned to my channel for more and more such videos